All right, it's the Britannia. It's a bit of a large cruise ship here. And it's uh, P&O Cruises. And you can see a couple of the Bazas. The Bazas on holiday. There he is. Here's people queuing for a chance to take a photograph with the statue of the Beatles. Okay, <laughs> Liverpool passport office, eh? Busy because uh, holidays and stuff. Yep, the ugly one is the home office. Good morning everyone, this is Charlie Veach on Tuesday the 12th of June and behind me are the two giant occupation flags of the uh, LG BT 4K QI SH IT CUNT flags. Now, I don't mean to be alarmist but we're all in extreme danger of an extremely bloody and genocidal civil war that is being pushed either on purpose or through insanity. And I'll tell you about this insanity. The people that push the ideology behind me onto youthful people, young people, children, babies, the general public are locked in a, in a vicious death spiral with normal people who just want to live, who just want their children to learn about A, B, C, D, learn about maths, learn about history. My child just wants to go to school without being told that they have to bow down to the new occupation flag. Now this death spiral, I've been reading things online that people who promote the, the strangeness behind me, they believe that any resistance from average everyday people, from the Muslim community, from the Hindu community, from the Christian community, from average normal working class people, they believe that that is bigotry. And they are doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down their propaganda, their attacks on children, their desire to put this occupation, Fourth Reich flag in every institution. At the White House, a couple of days ago, this flag behind me stood center stage, taking away the American Star, Star Spangled Banner from the center of the White House. This flag behind me was the big prominent one that they were displaying. You had people of a transgender persuasion exposing their male silicone enhanced chests and shaking them at the camera in front of the White House. Also the while, there's big conflicts around the world where real people are dying. And Joe Biden, at a time where people can't even afford to pay the rent, their mortgages, afford to buy food. It's all coming down and he's saying we need more protection for people who push this ideology. And then they bring in such phrases as transgender kids, as if an under 18 child has any idea about anything. It wants to be a transformer, not a transgender. It wants to be Optimus Prime, not a boy in a wig. It wants to be a Decepticon, not to deceive people of the opposite sex. Children want to be Spider-Man. They want to be Superman. They want to be Ultraman. They want to be anything. And we can't have people hiding behind an occupation flag. Literal Fourth Reich fascists coming after our children. We are all in extreme danger. Civil war and a massive killing spree is just around the corner because neither side is gonna back down. 
normal people are not going to let their kids be sterilized, mutilated, brainwashed. And the people that want to do that will not stop because they think that any resistance to their insane, devilish, demonic and crazy ideology is bigotry. Well, we'll see which side wins. I ask you to take your side in order to remain human. You have to take a side now. It's on. This is Charlie Veach on the 12th, 12th of June, 2023. Thanks for watching. Okay, it's about 27 degrees again. The weather is normal for a summer. Uh, if you turn on the weather forecast on the news, they'll have you believe it's uh, a volcano erupting, Vesuvius, uh, red lava, burning all the grannies, killing everyone <laughs> due to a normal summer heat wave. I have a general rule. Oh, a bit of reggae. A general rule, if it's, in its still in its 20s Celsius, you'll be all right. You only need to start worrying when it gets into the 30s. And then if, uh, like me, you've ever lived in the Middle East, Saudi, Bahrain, Qatar, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Iraq, then when it gets into the 40s... Hello, how are you, sir? Are you good? Good man. If it gets into the 40s, that's when you worry. That's when things start to droop. So anyway, just want to carry on what I said in the rant at the... Uh, occupation flags in that Unitarian church, the Eunuch church, or is it Unit? Eunuch? Absolute slack-jawed idiots. But, uh, you know, the... Hello, look at this handsome tall guy. How's it going? How are you? How are you? Hey. Nice to meet you. Thanks very much. You watch the videos? Yeah, I do. Thank you very much. Do you want to say, what's your name? Say hello. I don't give my name out. He likes his anonymity. Yeah. Mr. Anonymous. He's got good taste, but well, thank you, mate. Can't be anonymous this tall, can you? Well, no, it's impossible. Stand out above the crowd. Take yeah. care. See ya. Well, there you go. The current, current generation of uh, Zoomers and neo-Bolsheviks and young communists, they did a, a poll, a survey. I think even at Oxford University, probably the best university in the world, three quarters 75% of the students believe it's okay to shout down and censor a speaker if they disagree with that speaker. These neo bolshevists think that they've invented rebellion, that they've invented the class war, they've invented communism. And uh, their uh, retarded, kind of like uh, sexual arm of their uh, militancy, the LGTV 4K Plus crew with their weird flag, their incredible desire to read stories to children and not the elderly. That's suspicious. Why don't they want to go into old folks' homes and read to the lonely elderly? Why do they want to go... Charlie! Hey, how are you, Fai? All right, good to see you. Yeah, Charlie, well, Have a good one. Yeah. Take care. Very suspicious. But again, they think that transgenderism is a new thing. They think that homosexuality is a new controversial thing. It's not. I remember being a teenager at school in Edinburgh and every year during the Edinburgh Festival we'd have the visiting Lady Boys of Bangkok Circus the Lady Boys of Bangkok and everyone would have a great time and I'll tell you what they had they had humility they had a show they didn't try and speak to children and they had humility but now what do they have? they have pride a whole month of pride before no after pride comes the fall but they're like no be proud be proud and what is there to be proud of? Either you have free will and you're choosing a sexuality. Fair enough, whatever. Why are you proud of it? Or um, some people say it's genetic or chemicals in the brain or pollutants from the rivers. And that makes you uh, do what you do. Why are you proud of that? What, what? You should be proud to have a beautiful family, to provide for your kids, to be a good person. Those are things to be proud of. But you should still be humble. Okay, we're in the covered section at the bottom of Market Street, facing down towards Salford River Irwell. You know, I think I was born maybe in the utter, magical golden age of the modern era. I was born 11 years after Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin set foot on the moon in the Apollo space program, many successful trips to the moon. I was born at the same time as 
in my teens when the internet became popular and free speech took over the world and free expression, free transfer of movies, films, books, ideas, audiobooks, bang, boom, bang, woo! And I thought we'd all turn into geniuses, all turn into highly moral, highly spiritual Jesus Christ figures with the brains of Isaac Newton. I truly believe that in my ignorance. But of course, it's not as simple as that. People aren't the way they are because they are blank slates looking for information and they act badly or well uh, because of lack of information and because they have the information. People are mammals. We are advanced mammals with a, a mind of God, but still mammals. And people are born with instincts, prejudices, in-group preferences, low IQ, high IQ, medium, medium IQ, an ability to abstract and conceptualize big concepts, ideas, theories. Some people don't have that. So it's a bad, bad world. One of the beautiful side effects of uh, the internet and the spread of information is that every Tom, Dick or Harry, every man, woman, child, whoever, researcher, whoever, has access to statistics, facts, sobering patterns that we see, information about geopolitics, where the world is, where people are, and the wealth of nations, uh, the potentiality of nations. We can learn about how the Rwandan genocide took place. We get a bit more information about World War II, um, the kind of uh, dirty, dirty, dirty government uh, business of counter disinformation unit. This is a British army thing that's been exposed by the Daily Telegraph. And I was a victim of part of it. Um, I made some comments about uh, the various heart attacks that happened at the Travis Scott. Hello, you all right? At the Travis Scott concert in America a year or two ago. Got banned off uh, YouTube for seven days for spreading medical misinformation. <laughs> Turns out with hindsight, <coughs> Maybe it wasn't misinformation that the Charlie was spreading. And I'll tell you a big drawback, like of this freedom of expression that we're having now. The only drawback, shall I say, is that people who are unable to decipher the truth about things and the kind of very subtle, very subtle nuances of reality, they will take a group and they'll blame all the ills of society on that group straight white men, <coughs> straight white men. And then every other group, instead of feeling that humility and that need to be responsible and to work hard and to provide for your kids, all the other groups, when they look at <coughs> straight white men, will feel like they're victims, that they're being held back. And everyone wants a narrative that they're a victim and that the reason they're not successful millionaires is that <coughs> straight white men have been holding them back. And this is extremely dangerous extremely dangerous and we're all in extreme danger of extreme violence all the time because of this you know discredited groups like blm they were all corrupt they all bought big houses they stole all the donation money and police body cams kind of now show that most of the times that blm get on the street and say that bad things happen you actually watch the video and you go oh no the, the, the police were not racist they did not act unlawfully and so you have these groups, BLM, you've got general people like socialists, communists, Bolsheviks, Antifa. You've got the LGTV4K movement. It's all about saying that <coughs> straight white men are holding you back, holding you back culturally, economically, financially, housing wise. It's all your fault. Hey, ladies. So don't be a victim. Don't listen to these ideologues trying to convince you that a <coughs> straight white men are gonna destroy everything. I hate to tell you kids, it was uh, straight white men that uh, pretty much invented the modern world, gave you every single amazing technology. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Jews and the Chinese, they've done pretty well as well, but it's those evil straight white men that pretty much created the modern comfortable world. <laughs> evil straight white men. <laughs> Just a quick section about the incredible corruption between big pharmaceutical giants and uh, our elected leaders, corrupt little suckers of the satanic phallus, absolute disregarders of morality and decency and truth. All through 2022, the entire year, 12 months of the year, and we're halfway through 2023 and it's the case. 
all the major industrialized Western nations, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, Denmark, South Korea, Japan, every single nation I've mentioned is suffering extreme excessive deaths between 10%, 25%. Germany, Deutschland, for a time last year, they had three months where they were experiencing a 35% above average excessive deaths. Now, a little bit of that can be blamed on uh, people getting fat and lazy with clogged arteries during lockdown, not doing their exercise, but not all of it. And uh, for the very same reason I got banned for my theories, I love how a man who's not a scientist has some opinions about, you know, mass, uh, mass uh, medicine campaigns, gets banned. And right now, our governments, the media, the press, the, the, big, the big, big media, big government, they are silent. Silent, <laughs> like uh, Pope Ratzinger, <laughs> when they found out about the uh, child sexual abuse in some of the uh, cathedrals in Europe. <clears throat> And our government now, we're having literally thousands of people every month in every major industrialized nation dying excessively. No one knows why. And anyone that tells you a theory as to why gets a community guideline strike for spreading medical misinformation. A few years back, I went for a three and a half hour walk in 33 degree heat, mostly in the sun, minimal sh Hello! Hi. Hey, the one you videos! <laughs> Add water, minimal shade. And why did I do it? Just to see if I could. I guess so that I would moan less when lovely 28 degree sunshine came my way. Because uh, us Brits, we, we do love to talk about the weather, but we also like to uh, shoot ourselves in the foot by begging for good weather and then complaining massively about it when it finally comes. So my advice is go for a three hour walk in the super hot and then you'll find that shit, it's not that bad, I can do that. What else could I do? I can walk around in the sunshine and not moan about it. It's time to start planting seeds, guys. There is no such thing as spacemen, little green men, Martians, aliens, UAPs. No, these are demons. Demons that our forefathers have warned us about. Demons that are colluding in the darkness. Demons that are going to try and usurp man's position created in God's image as the chosen race. They did not find them. They didn't find them. A bit bright out there. <laughs>